I'm back and today I'm back with another Goodwill Bins haul. And excuse my hair, but I'm still going through the process of lightening it. It's doing really good. It's just going to take time. Probably one or two more light and see it's still got a lot of red in it. And then I'll be able to do the gray on white. But as I've told you before, our Bins haul is not very camera friendly at all. So, I tend to just show you my bins holes when I get home. It's just easier. Nobody wants to fight with me. I'm not into all that. But if you're not sure what the Goodwill bins are, they have these great big long tables. They're like probably six to eight inches deep. And, you know, they're about waist high. So, you're not doing a lot of bending and bending and bending, which makes it nice. But everything you buy, you pay $1.79 a pound at ARCS. Now, also books are $0.59 cents a pound at ARCS. Now, different stores I know have different prices. They have, um, a lot of them have like glassware is cheaper and certain things are cheaper. And I ain't gonna lie. I ripped off the Goodwill today because I told him I was a senior citizen. And I'm not quite, but close enough, right? And so for, I spent $32 today. And I'll show you what I got. Okay? I got... Don't look up yet. I got two of these, like, spice rack shelves. Now, I have a one of them. And I really don't use them. See, they feel like this. And I really don't use them, but these were, oh, what is it called? Pampered Chef. And they're exactly the same as the Pampered Chef ones I have in there. So I figured I would put them together and sell them as it, like that. And, you know try to get what I can get out of them anyway. Anyhow, the next thing I have is a pair of bands. And they look like this. And they do have a few spots on them, so I'm going to throw them in the washer. But they're just spot, a few small spots. And I can't remember what size these are. I mean, all my glasses are right here beside me. And these are a size 9. These were size nine. As you can see, your vans. Vans do a good job selling. And I have this pair of Converse, which are also adorable. And they, they, I guess they go this way. But they're in real good shape, as you can see. These are a size. Not on the bottom anymore. It used to be on the bottom years and years and years ago. Um, it's a size men four or size men fours. But yeah, I mean, look at the tread on the bottom. You know, I'll just pop them in the in the washer see what comes out and a lot of this stuff will come out and if it doesn't i'll use a magic eraser on it and that will help so i'll probably sell, sell those for about 10 bucks plus shipping in the vans i've been getting anywhere from 15 to 19 dollars a pair for vans and this is another pair of vans and these are white and i'll just spray them before i wash them but see they plenty wear on them. And they are size 7. Of course, I wear a size 8. But yeah, those are really cute. So I picked those up because, quite honestly, bands always sell. And these, I just thought these were just adorable. Look at these little things. <laughs> They are a 10, and they are Tommy, Tommy, 
Tommy Bahama. But they're just cute. Look at those. Look at those cute. They're band style. So, that, so they will sell, I'm sure, because they're in the style of band. And then I have another pair of Sperry's. And I had a pink pair, and they sold for $25. And these are an eight and a half medium. Very good condition. But it's in very good condition. And I think I sold, sold those yeah, for like $19 plus shipping. And here is an Avengers backpack. And that's in really good shape. You should see it's in really good shape. So, I'll probably list that for, probably, I'll probably list it for mine because they can always negotiate with you. Now, a lot of times, they'll come up with it and tell you, this is what price we recommend, and this is what they've been selling for. So, you can kind of go from that, and it does help. It really does. Okay, then I have this pair. These are Timberland. These are cute. You know. These are Timberland, and which they tend to sell to. See the size, but I can't see the size. I gotta open it up. size nine but you know these like the rest they have plenty of wear cute 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 and kids shoes are so cheap to ship and then I think my grandkids kind of made off with my Fabbit Fun beach towels so I bought this one but I wanted to do the beach towels in my bathroom and I was gonna decorate my whole bathroom around those beach towels and I either hid them from I thought I hid them from them and I either did so so well that I lost them from my, I hid it from myself or they found them anyway who knows and then I got this to sit my dishes in my silverware in my strainer because I'm a hand washer I don't have a dishwasher. I got this for me. This is a cute tank top. I'm going to go over here and have the wash aisle, but this is the Terry and Sky. Fourteen women's. And then we got Best of Cheryl Crow and REM Green because my car, yeah, it's old fashioned and it still has a CD player and I can't hook anything into my cigarette lighter because my cigarette lighter doesn't work. So we're stuck just getting CDs here and there as we get them because it, you know, that way much it depends. And then I got this basket. And it'll go by my door in the winter where I put my, you know, hats, gloves, scarves, things like that. I have a spot by, by the door that I just put that in, put them in. Well, the last one got lost in the fire, so that's what we use that one for. Or I may decide to, like, wrap blankets up and put it in here. I don't know. It's me. It could, it could be a whole wide range of things where that would go. Here's another pair of bands. Like I said, fans always sell, and these are in great, great shape. These are in great, great shape. Look. And they are size seven and a half. Almost. <laughs> I like bands too. They're very comfortable. And I got me these. This pair of flip flops for me. These are. Mer, 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 
Marona. That's what they look like. Well, that's what they look like. This is what they look like. There we go. I bought those for me. I don't know if they'll fit me or not. If they don't, well, we'll pop them on eBay. But yeah, I did buy them for me. They're just a little weird to get on. But they do fit. They fit. They're just hard. They're just weird to get on, but they feel good. Um, then I got these. These are little kids' shoes, and they're little Skechers. These are cute. These will need, need washed too, but they're cute. There. That was just my dude that my dude friend mowing my yard. Yeah, I'm as shocked as you are, trust me. And this is the front of so the other. These would be cute little school shoes for some longer when I after I wash them. Um here's some more Converse blue top. And they are slightly faded, which some, some like it that way. So I'm going to check the size on this before I... I may never know. I think it says four. I think it says four. I think that's what those look like. The black and white ones go pretty quick. You know, and... Then I have these kids. And I don't normally pick up kids, but the style of them, and this is that, I don't know if it's leather or faux leather, but they're the green foam kids. And they are size. I can't read it, but this is like a, you can't tell if it's leather or if it's faux leather. It kind of smells like leather, but I don't know. I have to look those up. I have to look those up, but that's what these look like. And they're, of course, the slip ones. So I'll have to look those up. Then I got these Converse high tops, which, you know, everybody loves. I remember about in sixth grade, I wanted them so bad. I, I, I did finally get them, but it was like begging for them. I don't know why. These are a size men's six and these are men's size six good shape you know yeah they've been washed and they've you know but the kids like that kids don't want them all brand new and then uh I'm missing one maybe it's in my trunk but I got these. These are marble. I don't know what happened to the mate to this, but it's really just got a little A on it. But it's probably in my car, so I'm not going to stress over it. Because it's probably here somewhere. And then I got these. I just thought these were cute. I just thought these were cute. And this is... This is leather. But aren't those cute? I don't know where the size is on these. Never dealt with this brand. I D O I C A V I T A. Dolce Bite. And. I have no idea what the size is on these. I have to do some further research. Something will tell me. But I just thought these were just cute, cute as crap. I just, I just really liked them. 
my rule of thumb is usually if you like them, somebody else is going to like them too. Oh, these are a size 7. But aren't those cute? They're really adorable. I wish that was my size. That, no way. No way, but I wish they were. And then I got this other pair of Skechers. Which, Skechers are alright, you know. They're the delights is what they're called. That's what they look like. Size. Seven and a half. So yeah, they're really cute. So that was my haul from the bins. I paid 30, 33 something, so it's $34 for everything. Now will I make my money back? Of course. Will I make extra money back? Of course. Yes, I will. I had a good haul and I, for some reason today, the other stuff was just not there. You know, that's the way it seems like you go one day and the bins that have miscellaneous stuff are just really cool and really cool stuff. And other days you go and they ain't got crap. And then some days you go and there's all kinds of purses or all kinds, you know. And I'm not one. All the clothes are just thrown in these bins. Just random. And I'm not one to dig. If I see it laying on top or whatever, I will pick it up. But I'm not one to dig. I don't have the patience for it. I don't have the back for it. You know, I'll say that to the other people. So I ain't arguing with them. But anyway, if you like what you see here, come on back and join us. And give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. Feel free to subscribe. We do all kinds of unboxings. Like, you know, like today, it was a Ben's haul. But I also do... Uh, unboxings. I do that bit fun. I do subscription boxes of all kinds. Mystery boxes. Occasionally we'll do a craft item or something. Pretty much if it has anything to do with saving money, we've tried it. And we'll continue to try it. <laughs> So, come on back and join us. We'd appreciate it. We're just a small channel, but we're growing it every day. And to all you new subscribers, thank you. I really, really do appreciate it. Bye! Come on, shut up.